Uh, question 24, we're given a table. For line H, the table shows three values of X and their corresponding values of Y. Line K, a completely different line, is the result of translating line H down five units in the XY plane. What is the x-intercept of line k? So this is line h we have over here. This whole thing is for line h. So what we want to do is get the equation of line h. We're given some points. These are coordinates. These are ordered pairs. This is 18, uh, 130. This is 23, 160, and so on. And we just need two points. We don't really need the third one. We just need any two. So I'll use the first two. Um, so I would like to get the slope of line h. And if you recall the formula, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and put those in. This is x1 and y1, and this is x2 and y2. So we're going to do 160 minus 130, 160 minus 130 over 23 minus 18, 23 minus 18. Now we can see this is 30 and this is 5. And so you get 30 over 5, which is 6. But I want to use a calculator because uh, always use a calculator when you get a chance. So let's go ahead and put this in the calculator. OK, um, so we have 160 minus 130 over 23 minus 18. And you get the answer of 6. So, so the slope is six. Okay. Um, what about the, the, the rest of the equation? We know the slope. So we could use point slope, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I'll use it with this 18 and 130. So let me go y minus 130. Uh, equals the slope of 6, x minus 18. Now, what did I do with that? My x1, y1, I'm just going to use 18 and 130. 18, the x1, we will use 18, and the y1, we will use 130. And that's what I did here. This y1 became 130, this x1 became 18, and so that's how we have this equation in point-slope form. Okay. And then we can keep going. Uh, you can distribute this. You can get 6x minus 6 times 18. Let's grab a calculator for that. So we have this over here. 6 times 18, which is 108. So 108. This is y minus 130. We're going to add 130 here and add 130 to this. So we have y equals 6x. Now 130 minus 108, or negative 108 plus 130. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, negative 108 plus 130. Oops, 130. It's 22, or if you like, you can do 130 minus 108. It's the same thing, you get 22. So let's go ahead and write this as 6x plus 22. OK, well, this is actually line h. This is line h. Now, let me erase some stuff to clear some room. Perfect. OK, now we need line k. Line K is formed by this line, and then we have to move it down five units. So we take um, 6x plus 22. So you see y equals 6x plus 22. We move it down five units. So you get y equals 6x plus. You can do this in your calculator. You would get 17. 22 minus 5, 17. So this is line k. And they want the x-intercept. That's what, that's what happens when you plug in 0 for y. So let's go ahead and plug in 0 for y. They even tell you right there the, the y-coordinate will be 0. So 0 equals 6x plus 17. 
you go minus 17, minus 17, you have negative 17 equals 6x. And you divide by 6, divide by 6. And let's write the, the result over here. x would be, actually, you can see the answer already. It's negative 17 over 6, because these will cancel, these 6 and 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. You have x equals negative, negative 17 over 6, negative 17 sixth. So the answer is D.